In this video, we will provide a brief introduction to the Octoparse template and guide you through its various features. The video is divided into three parts, each focusing on different aspects. The first part will show you how to access the templates, the second part will explain how to use them, and the third part will provide some useful tips. Let's start with part 1. To access the templates, you can click on the icon on the sidebar to directly access the template gallery. We also have a selection of popular templates, but if you want to see all the options, simply click on See All. If you have a specific website in mind, you can easily search for relevant templates by using keywords. For example, if you need a Google scraper, just type in Google and all related templates will be displayed. It's time to check part 2. When we have found a suitable template, how do we use it? Once you have found a suitable template, let's take a closer look at its details. Here, you can find the title, introduction, description, and related templates. The description will guide you through the steps of using the template and provide examples. You can also preview the sample data to ensure it meets your requirements before using the template. If the template does not meet your needs, you can check out other related templates. Additionally, you can check the access level to a template. Some are free and some require you to have a subscription. The cloud icon indicates that the template can only be used in the cloud, meaning it scrapes data on our cloud server instead of your device. This template takes an extra fee for scraping, which is 20 cents per 1000 lines. Of course, not every template takes this. Only some templates that need IP rotation to ensure stable scraping require this. You can try the template right away by clicking on try it or save it for later use by adding it to your favorites. You can also show your appreciation for the template by clicking on the thumbs up button or report any issues by clicking on the respective buttons. Once you have all the necessary information, you can start using the template by filling in the required fields. If you want to use it immediately, click start now. Otherwise, you can save the task and find it in your task list. Here is an example to use this template. Let's type in KFC in New York and scrape two pages of results for this keyword. Enter the keyword we mentioned and enter two in the pages eyes box. Start it and we will check the results later. While the task is running, let's move on to the third part, some helpful tips. You can easily access your favorite templates by clicking on the favorites tab in the gallery. Additionally, you can set filters on your search to certain templates. For example, if you need a Google scraper for Korean websites, you can use the language filter to narrow down your search results. Now, let's check the results of our template task. It has finished running, and we can see the data here. You can also export the data in various formats, such as Excel, by clicking on the export button. We're excited to announce that we're transitioning our templates to our website for smoother and more convenient usage. If you have a target site and haven't yet accessed the Octoparse application, simply head over to our website and navigate to the templates tab. Once there, enter any relevant keyword related to your target site, e.g. Google. Browse through the available templates and read their descriptions, similar to what you would find in the Octoparse application. Once you've found the template that fits your needs, click Try It. Follow the provided instructions to input the required parameters as per the template's description, and you're ready to go. Please note that you'll need to be logged in to try templates. Additionally, we're transitioning task lists online. They're now divided into two sections within the user center, tasks and datasets, and templates. Under Tasks and Datasets, you can view all the tasks saved in your account, run them in the cloud, and access the results for your cloud run tasks. It's important to note that you won't be able to view data from previous local runs since we can only link to cloud services online. In Datasets, you'll find all the records for the exported data online. Under Templates, you can explore the template gallery and access all the template tasks you've created in your account. This provides direct access to the details and data lines of your template tasks. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful in understanding Octoparse. If you need further assistance, 
please do not hesitate to contact us.